Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. That's... What's this? Seems the only thing the Calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. <sighs> Poor kid collapses after just one drag. Uh, great. The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Great. I'm tripping balls. Don't do drugs. Alright? This is what happens. She gets fucked up. Pass catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. What reflection? Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. No. What was I saying? Anyway. Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Stop being a douche. Fuck you, douche. Once the kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found, either. Off! Mm -hmm. 
So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years? In the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. Well, he didn't have much else to do. <clears throat> How there, kid learned to fend for himself, learn to build, learn to break. Bastards that are trying to kill you. In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Hi, asshole. He saw nothing where well, the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. Okay. Nah, don't matter for God damn now. it! Really, I have to. Fuck you, Andrew Pipe. The marshal seemed like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Mm -hmm. Alliance for you. Zolf's this. travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. Okay. Mm. Mementos. I kind of want those. And this. 
We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right, except no one else showed up. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the Marshals kept a wary eye on him. Synth is like drinking a cool breeze. Just don't go spitting needles everywhere. Alright, let's go. What's this? Hmm. Proving ground. Proving ground. Core. Let's go. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. You know, face planting every single time is just, that's not good, man. I don't care how strong your face is, it's not good. Riverbank swarming with windbags. So end up. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous ferry barge is still afloat. Boop. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. Yeah, well, we should have been a They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. You can't slow down me. They try to knock her out. Okay, seriously, that you're full crap. Well, weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. She picked a good spot for a break, 
is the cause right there. Too bad I've got what I want. sound like a hundred flapping wings they've been watching his every move oh, peckers they had their own eyes on the core but why well kid ain't got time to think it over just yet don't have time he finds time. weeping nelly raring to go Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Let's get moving. She's okay. gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Security gifts keep on coming, starboard side. Yeah, that's fine. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Just as bad as a kid. Get your own damn floor. This one's mine. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the barge back there? A good couple of times. close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Uh, cause there's nowhere else to go. Used to take an enterprising man, or a plain old fool, to venture out that far. Well, I'm feeling foolish. Let's go. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Come on. There we go. There the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. Music? How's it go again? Yeah, 
That's the one. I know how to defend. Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Uh... Maybe? Look. Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes.